Hey Gemini, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a reading for what you need to know right now. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, so we have the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So um, really, really interesting. Your energy always comes through in your reading more than I think any other sign comes through in their reading. And honestly, Gemini, I feel like that is because right now specifically, I feel like you are going through an era of transparency. Like everything about you and what you're doing is resembling the fact that um, you're just trying to live your most true and authentic life, right? There's nothing that you're trying to do um, at this time that doesn't reflect who you are as a person in some way, whether it's your approach to work, love, or just anything in between. Um, and the Ace of Swords coming through here at the bottom of the deck really clarifies that transparency, the fact that you are being very open um, with what you're receiving, but also with what you're giving out to you know, the world and those around you. And so I feel like right now, what you need to know is that, you know, how you're approaching things is going to work for you um, as long as you stay the course, right? As long as you remain yourself and don't change for anyone and just, you know, keeping that authentic energy, I feel like that is going to be your biggest tool in manifesting whatever you want at this time. So we have the Magician, which is Gemini and Virgo energy, Five of Swords and Ten of Cups. So I feel like you are in between your manifestation and the outcome. There's something happening in this very moment that could be giving you a bit of an uneasy feeling, right? Like this Five of Swords, um, usually it's always the pesky five. I feel like this is the energy of like, I don't know what's happening here, but I don't really love it because it's showing up as an obstacle towards what I want. Universe is wanting to bring this to your attention, almost like a big warning sign to let you know that what's happening in this moment is not what you think or it's not going to last forever. It's not a big obstacle. It's just simply something that needs to be, you know, kind of seen or just something you need to be aware of. But in no way, shape, or form does this situation that's happening right now, is it going to get in the way of what you're manifesting and hoping to receive at the end of, you know, everything once it's all done. So I feel like we need to discover what that Five of Swords is. What is this feeling of uncertainty or what is it that's worrying you right now as you're continuing to manifest your happiness and, you know, your goals and your, um, your outcomes here? Lately, a lot of the readings that I've done so far today have been about reassurance. It's like almost everyone collectively needs some reassurance these days or maybe just right now because maybe we're going through a bit of a weird, um, you know, moment in time and we need some extra kind of like, no, this is okay. You got this, right? So collectively, there's definitely a need for reassurance. We have the Knight of Wands. You're moving at the right pace. Some of you um, are worrying if things are either going too slow or too fast. I feel like the universe is again saying, as long as it feels good, right? As long as it feels comfortable, as long as it feels natural to you, right? Authentic, then you will, you are going to be fine. So to further clarify the five of swords. So basically that's the energy of what's bothering you at this time. We have six of pentacles, the hierophant, which is Taurus and six of wands. Some of you are kind of questioning the success of something that you're doing here. Maybe this is the success of a potential commitment, a potential um, um, investment, right? Some of you are wanting to invest in something, but you're not sure if that investment is going to give you that return, right? If something is going to be reciprocated, you don't have that quite clearly laid out to you at this time. And so you're wondering, I don't know if everything that I'm doing to make this a success is going to work. Right, you may be asking yourself, I don't know if this commitment um, or this investment is really going to pay off in the end when it's all said and done and I put all my eggs in this basket, right? Some of you are really questioning because the Hierophant isn't really giving you anything back, right? It's just showing up as what you're manifesting, what your intentions are. But right now, you're still waiting to see that return of investment. You're still waiting to see um, that reciprocation. And this could be maybe within a financial investment. Maybe this is within a relationship, right? Maybe this is within something for yourself, something that you're doing to kind of, um, you know, appease your higher self. You're not very sure yet if that's going to give you the results you want. But the Six of Wands is here to say, yes, it is, right? 
It's trying to reassure you that the results you're looking for are indeed going to happen. So, um, let's go ahead and clarify the Magician. All right, so we have the Death at the bottom of the deck, which is Scorpio Energy. I feel like the Magician um, is here to say that something needed to end in order for you to manifest this, right? Something had to happen in order for you to say, I'm going to start to really put my intentions towards this. Had you not closed, you know, some sort of chapter here, you wouldn't have been able to do that. Some of you are questioning, did I make the right choice? Should I have closed that chapter? Should I have let that end, right? And I feel like, again, universe is wanting to reassure and confirm that yes, Closing this chapter was necessary in order for this manifestation to come through. Um, so we have two of cups, three of wands, eight of swords, and seven of wands. So two of cups. Um, some of you could be manifesting a relationship, right? Some sort of divine connection. Um, I feel like, you know, when we are trying to do that, sometimes we let our own fears get the best of us. And we may self-sabotage or do things that we don't really mean to do, but it's almost like a projection um, from a place of, you know, self-defense, right? Some sort of coping mechanism. And so we start doing things or thinking a certain way that gets in um, the way of a manifestation of something that we really want. Seven of Wands could represent that somebody here could be resistant to change, even though they are kind of like aware that change is necessary, right? Maybe this is about you or someone you're connecting to. That resistance to change, it needs to stop, right? If we really want this manifestation to keep going or for this, you know, cycle to be complete, then we need to let go of that resistance to change. Um, and that's just part of the way things are, right? So three of wands, again, there's something about a new beginning, something about an expansion out with the old and with the new. Three of wands could also represent that a lot of you are manifesting something that you don't really know too much of just yet, right? It's almost like you're discovering it as you're manifesting it. And so it's kind of like this one big question mark. It's kind of like you're opening up Pandora's box and you know you want to open it, but you don't really know what's inside. So you're just like, I'm going to go through with it. But, you know, what's out there is really, it's up in the air. It beats me. Um, there's a sense of excitement, though, to that, right? A lot of you are looking forward to what you're going to discover However, that resistance to change seems to be the biggest challenge because some of you maybe are used to a certain way of doing things or you're used to a certain type of relationship. I feel like the universe is saying, and if you're really manifesting this and you're really you know, sure that this is what you want, then you have to be open to different cycles, different energies, right? A rebirth um, to a completely new way of experiencing things. So definitely a um, very important message there. Let's go ahead and clarify the Ten of Cups as the Ace of Cups falls. Nine of Swords. The only thing that can possibly get in the way of you getting what you want is yourself, right? Your thoughts. Your thoughts are powerful. They are going to influence your manifestation. Um, we are what we think, right? So if you're trying to get here, but you keep thinking like this, then that's going to be very difficult. So to further clarify the Ten of Cups, we have the High Priestess, which is Pisces, Seven of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. We have to let go and walk away of our own doubt and those self-limiting beliefs if we are going to truly say that we're trusting the universe and going with our gut and, you know, trusting our intuition. I feel like there's a lot of contradictions in the energy right now for you, Gemini. Like maybe you're wanting to believe that, you know, things are going to work out a certain way, but then the other side of your, you know, mind is kind of like, well, I don't know. It's like you need to really believe, like truly believe your intuition. Don't just say that you think something is, that you think something is going to work, right? If you feel deeply in your heart that this needs to work in order for you to get what you want, then you have to believe it. You have to get, you know, you have to get away from the doubt um, and the, you know, thoughts that kind of like take away your own confidence from yourself, right? Um, so this is a lesson in, you know, kind of trusting yourself, trusting the universe, but also about the fact that a lot of you have put so much into this um, situation You've invested so much energy into this manifestation. Don't give up now as you are so close to getting what you want. So 
If you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.